Welcome back to the Gravity Club Podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Victory. And today, we are talking about... What was the topic again? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I hit something. I just remembered. It was dead games. And not just browser games or MMOs or anything like that. Just all the games I've played or I recall playing that are now no longer available. Now, I played a lot. Well, the computer I had back when we first moved to Arizona. When I was in Oregon, I wasn't a person that would play on the computer. We had one. We had internet. We had it. I didn't use it. My dad was the one using it all the time. Uh, I usually would just watch a little bit of TV, you know, Power Rangers, Digimon, Beyblade, those things, and then just go outside and play. And when I moved here, that all changed. Eventually, when we moved to this house, uh, this house, we eventually got internet, we got a computer, we started playing video games. So, of course, the first one I played coming here was Toontown. When I recalled it a few years back, I didn't know Toontown was gone. I didn't know it was dead at that point. Um, when I tried to go back, I found out it was dead. It was gone. I was pretty surprised because there was a lot of people, there was a lot of enjoyment in the game. I could see that people really enjoyed it, but then it was all gone. I guess I was in the last, last year or few that that game had, and it was eventually gone. I did play a little bit of Club Penguin here. Um, I played it way before it was uh, dead. It was like it, its peak at that point. Um, and it it was before Disney, if I recall. It was before the uh, big Disney thing that happened. And eventually Disney came along. I didn't play at that point. I did come back once in a while. I remember the whole reason we played Club. I played Club, Club Penguin was because my friends told me to join. And eventually, we. I don't recall if we ever played. I think we played like three times. That was it. And eventually, we never touched it again. Of course, we did, went back for uh, for memes for Toontown. Re, I mean, Club Penguin rewritten. I did go back to re, uh, Toontown rewritten too, but I didn't last that long. It, it's just I I went around. I explored the world. I was like, oh, there was so much, so much I could have done if I had a membership, and now I don't need one. That's amazing. I I did play. Uh, now this game isn't dead. I th it's not dead, but it gets repetitive and boring without a membership. I played Wizard 101, and I played it since 2010. Yeah, 2010, around there, or 2011. It was a very long time. <clears throat> I still play it to this day. Well, not really. All I do is just go in, farm, uh, I mean, check my plants, water them, you know, clean that and check whatever I have and that's it and just leave and go back it's just now they want membership has become such a big thing that it's practically impossible and the thing is I kind of hate what they what they did so if you th if you're just buying one month membership okay just one month automatically they place you in an automatic uh every month you'll be playing paying a membership over and over they won't tell you you'll get an email and if you don't read it you're screwed that happened to me because I didn't check anything I didn't approve them I uh, get uh, the whole membership thing every month I lost uh, over $80 uh, that year because of that and I'm kind of pissed that that happened that's why I've never paid for a membership ever again um, what was another game? I know there was a lot of browser games I played. Um, I know if one of them is still alive. It was called Monster Monster Galaxy. Monster Galaxy. It's on on, on Facebook. I don't know if it's still available on Facebook. I know that it was uh, a lot of fun. Uh, mostly because the monster aspect was strange, different, and also the music that started playing the moment uh, you captured the. The monster, it was amazing. That music was catchy, all right. It, I mean, the rest of the music was pretty decent, but this one was catchy, catchy. Like, it was really damn good. 
I recommend it to anyone that wants to listen to it. Um, just type on YouTube like Monster Monster Galaxy Capture Theme. I think it's what it is. It's really damn good. I played a lot of Facebook uh, browser games or Flash games. Or, yeah, Flash games I think they would be. I, I did play another other Flash games. Uh, I know I played a Sonic one and eventually I found out it was like Sonic.exe or something. Or something like that. It was a horror game. Uh, it seemed fun, you know, and they had pr- decent levels. It, it, but then I don't. I I doubt it was Daddy XC, but it it turned weird after like the fourth level. First, the difficulty ex- it, uh, went from easy to like ultra hard or something, and then weird stuff started happening. I don't know where I was, but I never went back to that page or started playing. I know I played a lot of uh, Prop Tropica. I played a lot of that. I know my cousins made me uh, made fun of me for playing a lot of uh, Pop Tropica, but what were you doing? I mean, like, uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure they weren't playing Pokemon because none of them, not most of them, didn't take care of their cards now, and they m- most of them have sold them. Some of them have given given to their younger brothers. I think that's only one of them. The other one just ruined them. They had expense. I know one of them had expensive Pokemon cards and Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And just completely ruined them. Because uh, just like my friend Alex. They used rubber bands for some reason. Until a few years ago he started using sleeves. But he used to use rubber bands. And it was painful. I, f- I felt the suffering of those cards. Really good cards though. But he could never take criticism of how he could improve his Yu-Gi-Oh deck. But that's not my problem, you know. If you lose, you lose. I mean, he lost against me and he never played against me. And I used and I used Utopia and that was before I upgraded my deck uh, to now. Actually, my deck now is over $140 uh, over the five-ish years I've been playing. And not all in together because Utopia still didn't have that much support. But... Yeah, I don't know where I'm taking this podcast, this episode, but all I want to do is just reminisce on these older dead games. Now, there is one I want to mention, uh, because it's the only shooter I played. Uh, it was a shooter I played with Regalius, uh, Killer Cakes, I think we played with Phantom 8, I don't recall. But it was called uh, Ghost of Shell uh, First Assault. First Assault. It was a it was a shooter, and it I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the shooter. Uh, you were able to use characters from uh, Ghost of Shell and upgrade your weapons. Of course, you had abilities too. Like uh, depending on which one, um, you could link abilities. Uh, I know the the main character had the ability to disappear, go invisible. I know that. <laughs> Anyone that's played with me, the moment I start yelling headshot, 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 I was I was getting into the game, and that's when usually it would mean a good game, especially when everyone started getting into the game. We were practically wrecking the entire other team. It was really fun. Eventually, that game got uh, removed. I, I don't know if they removed it from Japanese servers as well. That's where it came from, but the U.S. server was shut down completely. I think it was a everyone server, whatever they're called. You know, anyone from anywhere can join. Because I know I heard some people from uh, Mexico and some uh, Portuguese and some other places in um, voice chat. So I'm pretty sure it was everyone. I think they just removed it entirely. It was a really good game, though. It uh, most people wouldn't like it just because the whole element of how you used abilities and stuff but wasn't outrageous like the new black ops whatever you walk on walls you have all these drones and stuff gets repetitive and boring literally i got i got it i got one of them back when i had playstation plus and i played it i logged in i was like oh this is so boring zombies oh so boring i was like i'd rather be playing uh left 4 dead 2 because you get custom maps you get these crazy maps like um, uh, Tank's Playground. That was amazing. That was a really good one. Uh, especially because uh, we always had strategies. We would try to build strategies around all of our characters. Uh, a routine. How to escape all of them. How to win. Even if it was only one of us, we all win. 
Like, that was the whole purpose. It, it was really, it was really cool. And it was really fun. It, I, I forget those times. And then, of course, fa I played a lot of Facebook um, during my Toontown days. Um, I eventually, after I left Toontown, I started playing a little bit more Facebook games. Um, it was called Yu-Gi-Oh! BAM, I think it was called. Uh, I know that Yu-Gi-Oh! BAM didn't have anything like spell cards or anything like that. Or any rules that I remember clearly. Like the rules you were using Yu-Gi-Oh! Not rules. Like, there's no rules. But, it was different and exciting. Uh, I know that one of the best cards you could have gotten at one point before I left was I think Galaxy Eyes and Galaxy Eyes was actually pretty damn good. I don't know if you could I never got blue eyes, I never got any of those. I know I got Galaxy Eyes. I got a Galaxy Eyes deck. Um it was pretty fun. I enjoyed it. Eventually it just got shut down for some reason. I don't recall why. Um I don't remember what was the big reason of why it got this, uh removed. Um I think it was just gone. There's a few other games. I know I played a lot of Mystrits because it didn't have a, a DS or a Game Boy or anything like that. I had a GameCube, so I played Call. I, I borrowed uh, Regalis and Fancy 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 Sheep's uh, copy of uh, Coliseum. Oh no, it wasn't Coliseum XD. Uh, I played that one before Coliseum. It was really fun. Uh, actually, I actually they had a, they eventually got a second copy without knowing or had another copy. So they gave me the copy they had let me uh, lend to me so long ago. And I I think I still have the save file. I'm not really sure. But I'll have to check. It was actually a really fun time. Reminiscing uh, those games. So what was another game? I know Miskrits. Uh, there was original Miskrits and there was uh, Miskrits something something. I know Miskrits is still going on to this day. Um, I know a lot of people... <laughs> I know one of them got, uh, yelled at me for saying some other game looked like uh, Miskrits art, but uh, a Miskrits is interesting. I know it's difficult. It, it's difficult as hell. Um, you have to do certain things before you even get through the story. It takes forever. You think gr grinding itself is difficult. Um, gathering all these monsters, legendary creatures, everything's very difficult in the game. I know the original Miskrits, I literally didn't know what to do. Uh, I think I even got lost. I don't recall. I eventually started making it, uh, making it further, um, further through. Um, I know Miskrits is still on, as well as, um, uh, Dragon City. I played Dragon City before the whole YouTuber craze that had it. Because I know popular MMOs eventually had a dragon there. Mr. Beast had one. Um, I didn't get any of those because uh, at that time I didn't, um, I wasn't playing anymore. And yeah, they were eventually gone. I, I know these two last games are gone completely. Um, I mean, from Facebook. Um, I don't know if they're still in the App Store or I know they're not in the App, the Play Store. Um, the the next one. Uh, before I get to the last two, I know I played a lot of Social Wars. It was kind of like Social Empire. That's one of the last two. Uh, Social Wars was kind of uh, a futuristic uh, war uh, strategy game, I guess. Uh, it was a little... It was kind of like a Clash of Clans, but different, I guess. Because, it, well, Clash of Clans is, me uh, Clash of Clans is medieval. These had like giant robots, giant mechs, giant mecha dragons, and other stuff. And it was really pretty, it was really freaking cool to play. I'm, it was decent. I know I had a, a mecha dragon and um, a few mechas. I know I had a bumblebee based one and a few other ones. But eventually, it that got was taken away. I don't know why. It was just removed eventually. It was just gone. It was. I didn't know when it was shut down. I just found out one day it was just gone completely. Uh, another one was... What was the other one? It was Marvel Alliance, I think it was called. Uh, I know there's an app called that, but this Marvel Alliance was... I, I, I don't recall the app. I know I, I did connect once. It didn't have my original account 
from Facebook because they asked me if I would want to connect to Facebook. Um, I didn't get any of the things I had. And on on this one, you would hire heroes. I, you would begin with a few chosen heroes they would give to you, but you would be able to get like different heroes from different movies. I know eventually. I think the last one they added was the Avenger. No, it was Iron Man three. Because they released the armor set for that one. It was one of the most overpowered armor sets. If you had War Machine and Iron Man with their um, uh, suits from Iron Man 3 on, you were practically invincible. You, you would not be defeated. I know an overpowered character. He was top tier. It was the Human Torch at his... Um, I, I forgot. It was when his arm is mutated and it's completely always on fire. I forgot what it was. But that was overpowered. Um, him. Uh, a lot of people didn't use Wolverine. But there was a lot of heroes there. Um, I know I kind of. Not cheated. But I kind of broke the system. Where I. Forgot exactly what I did. But I skyrocketed in levels. So I got a ton of heroes. A ton of equipment. I know eventually I got two overpowered weapons. That were eventually uh, removed. And completely banned. Uh, if you removed it. If I had unattached them. They would have been gone. They were that overpowered. They were a crystallized gun. From a. Uh, event. For a Norse. Uh, Norse event. Uh, Asgard event. And you technically could only have one or something. But at the time you could equip more than uh you could equip two and they were really good guns and i had them <laughs> i had both of those guns i um eventually i couldn't do anything with them or attach or level up just because they were gone but it was really fun to play um i know i always tried to get new heroes i had a ton of heroes i know i had a uh, invisible woman uh iron man war machine she uh she hulk uh, did I get the Hulk? I don't recall. Um, I had a, a, a ton of heroes. I eventually got um, Thundra, a Sith, uh, Doctor Strange. I got him. He was really cool. I've, I did never got the Human Torch. Uh, I know I got Iron Man. I got his suit. Uh, I maxed out Iron Man. He was like one of my highest as well as She-Hulk. They were a really good team together. And then my character itself was overpowered. I could take on a few villains by myself. Eh, it was a really good time. I don't know what happened to that one. Maybe because they were starting the whole app craze. They just wanted to get away from browser games. Because at that time, I think browser games were just going down. Like a lot of people. I mean, the whole in-game browser thing. Like Disney's whole thing was coming down. Except for, um, I know Pirates was gone. Toontown was gone way before that i think um it had been gone for a few years already um what was the other one pixie hollow i know my sister played that that was gone uh by that time and a few other games were already being removed so i guess when they were getting big with the movies you know might as well start something new and they started the whole app games i don't play them i know my friend plays a few of them i forgot which one it was um Marvel Conquest? I forget. But and they were decent games. I tried them out. It's just I get bored uh, with the whole those kind of graphics. I prefer the pixelated graphics uh, when they're pixel characters like uh, Last Cloud. Uh, Last Claudia is a pretty good example. Um, Grand Summoners, uh, Crusaders Quest. That's a good one too. Has amazing music. And yeah. So, my other Facebook game, I still have so many games I want to talk about. I know there's a few, um, um, not JRPGs, but MMOs, I would guess. Um, another one was, I know I'm saying um a lot. That's my issue that I want to fix with these podcasts. Stop saying um. But, what can I do about it? I just did it right now. So, another one was Social Empire. That was another game I played. I played the hell out of that game. Um, <laughs> I also broke that game. Because at one point, they eventually, this was later on. I don't know why, but my account was never loaded up after that. So, it, it wasn't cheating at the time. So, I had to buy every 
every space in the game so that was allowed I forgot if you could buy more or not but I bought all of it I bought the entire square I had every space of land so um, why I forgot how I made so much cash oh yeah 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 I remember so at one point this item became free for a few players that were able to log in during those days but for others they weren't able to they had to end up paying eventually 300 cash that was in-game pay money so you had to pay you could earn it each time you leveled up but this item was called i forgot the exact name but i just called it the soul fusion soul fusion was one of the most overpowered things in the game what it did was fuse two souls of anything and made it one so at that time i had already unlocked all the dragons i had uh the dragon spire had gotten all the dragons after it took me forever um but when i got all the dragons i didn't really have a, a large army i didn't have all this but with this it was pretty damn amazing because uh i leveled up so fast i kept getting other dra i know i got the ruby dragon I got a, a, a mecha dragon uh, with a crossover of uh, social wars. Um, I, I think it was a giant mecha thing. I know I got Cyclops. I got a giant different gorilla. I got a few mummies, a few monsters. I got a ton of dragons. I had two-headed dragon, a uh, red and uh, a fire and water. I forgot. Uh, a green Bahamas behemoth i know eventually i start getting a lot of cash because each time you level up you got a ton so i went from level five to over 50 i think I, out of all my friends i think i was the cl uh, the highest one i think but i had king kong i had the behemoth i think i also got the supreme bahamut i don't recall if i did but i think i did I know I had a lot of the Bahamut stuff. Uh, I know I had a few band stuff. I have Celest oh, a Celestial Dragon. That was one. That was pretty cool. It was a crossover also with uh, um, uh, Dragon City. And I had a lot of fun with that. Um, eventually, I had so much cash. I eventually got um, a few army place uh, placements. I, I upgraded all of them. I eventually got some uh, things that were removed from the game because they were that overpowered. It was a, go a golem uh, factory where you could affect, uh, produce golems, rock golems, like these ancient... It was kind of like the golems from uh, At Atlantis, the Disney movie, if you recall that one. Uh, and a few other uh, band things. They were like uh, alien spaceships and stuff. And another thing was, uh, uh, it was towers with cannons on all four sides so eventually when i did that i placed cannons all around i placed gates as well and there were cannons all around my house it became an issue eventually i logged back on a, f a long time later it it was a thing where you couldn't do that anymore for some reason so if i moved something or put it into my bag i could not place it back down it said not allowed to do this you cannot have more than blah 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 but because i wasn't there during that time i wasn't allowed to change it and i wasn't just gonna do that so i just ended up making like a mega wall but i kept most of it like all the ones that i was i didn't know um i was capable of doing that i eventually kept but it was really fun i got a lot of stuff out of that uh, a lot of the dragon stuff i i know i built I beat most of the story. I had a pretty high, um, oh, a ruby dragon. I had that. Uh, let's just say I had a lot. My entire army was mostly based off of monsters and dragons. And mo uh, unless I wanted to, I would add a few humans. But I wouldn't. Usually I would send the humans out to die from the trolls. But the rest of my team were usually just golems, dragons, and all these monsters. It was pretty fun. I I really enjoyed it. I know I had a dragon rider eventually, but yeah, it was really fun. It, it I had a lot of fun with those games. 
Alright. Now, to get to the dead MMOs I played. What were dead MMOs? Um, technically, I don't recall. I, I ended up looking up lists. Like, oh, what were games that I played? You know, I already said Toontown. Uh, that was one I played. Fusion Fall. I wasn't able to play it. I, I would guess. It, it wasn't like I wasn't able to play it. Um, I never was... Actually, I wasn't able to play it. Not because it was parents' permission. No. Uh, I would download all those games, but they were just not allowing me to download it. Uh, the download button would never go off. I It would never download. I was like, okay, I guess it's gone. Um, uh, Fusion Fall was... I, I was hoping to play it. I never got to. Um, that was one. Uh, I didn't really play most of the large games like uh, World of Warcraft, Warhammer Online, any of the big ones. I know I did play a really awesome one that I wish I had uh, this item back then. Uh, I have a, I picked up a Logitech Attack 3 um, um, uh, f flyer simulation joystick. It was for flying simulators. It was really fun. I, I tried it out playing uh, uh, Risk of Rain 2 with it. Um, it doesn't work, but I was able to beat the first boss. That was pretty cool. That was actually pretty fun. That was a pretty cool challenge. I'm not gonna lie, but uh, I ended up downloading this game by mistake. I don't, I don't recall which website, how. I was never I was never able to find it ever again. It was a a World War II flying simulator, but it was a game. Uh, you would be able to fly around, uh, fly your planes. I know when you crashed, it would just, you wouldn't be able to land. It would just crash or nothing. You crashed on land, you crashed on sea. It was mostly little islands and a lot of sea. I know there was uh, uh, pilots you get to choose from these different planes. And it that's mostly all I recall from it. I know my cousin uh, Carlos played it. Uh, he really enjoyed it. Um... But we were, my cousin Carlos played it, my cousin Rafael played it, but we were never ever able to find it again. Uh, literally when the computer went to for cleaning after, I don't know why, but probably because of my pro, uh, the things I downloaded. All those games from different websites from who knows what, and they were just gone. Uh, I was never able to find it again. It, it was really hard. I know some people are going to tell me, oh, it was this or that. I was like, I tried most of them. Like, well, most of them back when I was still in sixth grade. So a few years ago, over four, four, six years ago. So I won't recall any of the names. I know this game. I played it because it was announced on Disney XD. Or was it Disney XD or Boomerang? I forgot what page, where it was announced. I know some people will not remember this, or they're about to remember it, because I just mentioned it. Now, oh, wait, 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 there's two more, there's two more. I, I know this one I played a little bit before I get to the big one. I know some of you will not remember this. Um, but this other one is probably remembered. It was called Monkey Quest. Monkey Quest, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a Nickelodeon, uh, Nickelodeon uh, browser game, I guess. It, it was a monkey best MMO game. It was decent, I guess. I don't recall. <laughs> I don't recall much of it. I know that. Um, okay, so I know I played uh, Monkey Quest because my friend, uh, I think it was one of the twins. I forgot which one asked me to play. I was like, oh yeah, I'll get it. I eventually, after forgetting each time I got home, I eventually got, when we eventually started talking on the phone, I remembered, downloaded it. That was the only time I also was playing Club Penguin at the time. But uh, this game was pretty awesome. I know right now there's a whole Monkey Quest Reborn, and I know there's a lot of things missing. Unlike, like, uh... Uh, Toontown rewritten that was able to be saved by people that enjoyed the game. They were able to s salvage the game before that happened. Fusion Fall and all these other things. Um, Monkey Quest didn't get that kind of uh, uh, loving uh, loving care from the people. I know there's a lot of things missing. Um, in the only way to play it is, is if you have a file 
or if you're a YouTuber, that's kind of like cruel. I, I'm not saying I'm gonna be like, oh, I'm a I'm a YouTuber. I'm pretty big. Uh, I can get uh, people to watch it. Like, no, I wouldn't play Monkey Quest even to have the chance again. Um, Monkey Quest, it was outrageous, uh, crazy. It was. It reminded me a lot of a uh, Maple Story. I played that. Um, because you were able to do uh, wear all these crazy costumes. I know you had to pay for them. That's why I didn't like. And yeah, I know I, d I got pretty far. I know I left the game for a very long time. Because eventually me and my friend never played it again. Together. I don't know if he ever played it alone. But again. But I know it was... It took, it took me forever to eventually go back. Eventually... Did go into level something? I know, double digits, ten. I forgot what level. It it was a long time ago. I have a vague memory about it until someone mentioned it uh, earlier today in a video. It's like, wow, I remember that game? Yeah. Now I don't recall most of it. <laughs> I know I got stuck in the tutorial part. I can tell you that much. That I didn't get it. It wasn't working at the time. Like it said, go this way. I was like, okay. It's not working. The button wasn't working. This wasn't working. I tried every button in the keyboard. It wasn't working. And eventually, the character started, stopped moving. I was like, okay, forget this. I'm done. Eventually, it left. And it was gone. And now, the, these are the games before I get to the last one. Um, I don't know. So, I was looking up the last one. And it said some information I didn't know. So, I, I played also Maple Story, Ella Sword, um... Blade and Soul, I played that one for a little while then left it. Probably because it took me over three days to download. Killed my laptop or my computer, whatever I was using at the time. Okay, I'm losing my voice for talking too long. And because this is the longest episode I've ever had. Okay, so last game, it was. I peaked. Great. Last game. Okay, stop stalling. Okay, last game was Free Realms. How many of you remember Free Realms? Uh, I doubt any of you. So, <laughs> uh, Free Realms was, I'm going to read a bit from here. It was a 5 out of 5 from Facebook, a 98% from Google users. Okay, that's it. Free Realms is a massive multiplayer online role-playing game, video game developed by Sony Online Entertainment for Windows, Mac, PlayStation 3 set in a fantasy-themed world named The Sacred Grove. A game that was released in April 29th, 29th uh, 2009 for Windows. It was by Daybreak Game Company. It was... I do not recall. I remember that Free Realms... I don't know if it was just me, but I know I couldn't go past a certain location. Because they told me, oh, you need to pay or something. I was like, then what's up with the Free Realms and Free? I I was able to go anywhere. I, I forgot what... The reason why I got mad. I think I never went past the main area, the main forest area. Yeah, I remember getting killed by something. It was a wolf? I forget. I forgot what my character even looked like. I remember it was a... <sighs> was that guy from um, the other show? So there's Totally Spies and then there's a mystery solving one. From uh, the same creator, same art style too. I forgot what it was called, but my character kind of looked like that. And yeah, that was mostly it. Um, do I remember playing any other games? Uh, I don't recall much of Free Realms. Free Realms, I, I think I played it for a little while. I think I played it three times. And my uh, third time I played it for so for an accident. I know... I clicked on it and completely left afterwards. Never came back. Uh, I know someone... I, I just had this memory of a game I played. But I don't recall what it was. Um, yeah, I don't recall. Actually, maybe I do. I just have to remember really, really hard. Daybreak, daybreak, daybreak. Huh. Ah, what was it? Okay, so I was... Paused it. I went back. I tried to remember what game it was. Uh... <laughs> I wasn't able to find it, but I did find another one I wanted to play, but got canceled before I got to play it. It was called Lego Universe, if anyone remembers that. It, when I saw the commercial, when I went to the website, it looked, it, it was actually really cool. 
Uh, you get to make your own character. You get to choose what class. It, it reminded me a lot of Trove with a lot of the building mechanics of Lego. And all these worlds, all these... It was Lego Dimensions before Lego Dimensions. It was awesome. I, it looked amazing. I eventually, when I finally... Because I was going to download it, but then I didn't know if I wanted to. Because I didn't know if it was going to ask me to uh, for money, anything like that. I was like, what was I going to do? I didn't know how to uninstall stuff. I didn't know any of that. And I was like, okay. I didn't know what YouTube was. Was Did I? I don't remember. <laughs> eventually, when I finally did it, it said canceled January 24th or something like that, 22nd. It was either those two dates or on my birthday that is on the 6th. I was like, oh my god, worst luck ever. It was canceled. It was a, I was going to have the best time ever because Ninjago was going to become, uh, was being released during that time. And I really wanted to play as a ninja, but it got canceled. I mean, it got removed i i really want to remember that game i played but i don't recall what game it was oh my god let me let me check something real quick i i know i have to remember i have to uh no i played trove i played 101 i played i played roblox I, i'm remembering all these other games that or okay none of these games are gone so far they're like oh games are like free realms i don't want to remember any of that i don't remember if it was a facebook game <sighs> whatever um does it matter no it's a dead game uh if i can't recall it i don't know if you will uh i can't recall i don't remember anything i i can't get my brain to work right now but uh, right before we end it, I know this is one of the longest episodes. This is just reminiscing on older uh, video games, uh, canceled online games, uh, just any game in general, you know. But I wish I had someone on me uh, to for this video to see if they recalled the games as well. But, well, uh, hey, if you want to do this again, just let me know. Uh, maybe get some other games I didn't uh, didn't get to play or games you get to play uh, let me know like I, it would actually be pretty cool if someone chose a different list from mine uh, games that were removed came back I mean uh, comes back for this episode and tries to pitch me the game if I were ever play it that would be pretty interesting you know uh, okay but so guys I don't know if I want to make episode 20 the last episode of the season before i hit to season two or go all the way to 24 episodes and make that the final episode so let me know if you want to do that so we can get some fresh topics get some people on here get some other stuff for season two or just continue this with just random things just showing up whenever i want to talk about it because that's so far what's going to happen because I can't come up with ideas. I'm getting ideas from YouTube right now and that's mostly it. <laughs> Alright. Um, yeah, that's mostly all I, all I want to talk about. So, if you want to uh, contribute to this and let me know on a new topic or just check out the Facebook page. It's all down below. Just check out the links. Um, you can t contact me on any of that or on YouTube or uh, well crappy club is being posted as well um yeah let me know if you want episode 12 to be the last if anyone even wants to answer to that question or i'll just make my decision <laughs> i guess being the only one here um all right that is all for now thank you all for listening and until next time